melee leaners and Ember. Hey, that, they're pressure. initiating in. He's got no jump out of here. He does have the Searing Chains, but it's a lot of damage coming in from PPD, and they need to keep it going. That Caustic Finale does trigger around a little bit, and two more attacks. Make it one more. There it is from PPD. EG will end up spilling the first blood. Solo's coming up for revenge kills, but he can't get in range of Universe to get that orb attack out. I have just overstayed his welcome. There's going to be a very quick uh, Barra Strike if they can get it. Yep, that little bit of a mini stun from Luna. He's holding on to it for now, and now will allow the Barra Strike to connect. Another kill is going to come in for EG, with Solo being trapped inside the river. A very easy rotation up from EG, and Vega getting caught during the middle of the pull, which made it a little bit easier for them as well. And that will be 3 for 0 in favor of EG. A very, very solid start. Yeah, fortuitous rune and a very timely rotation. Not only do they get the kills, they also give Luna a safe lane to farm them, as you mentioned. And then now, like, yeah, I mean, Absolute food. Yeah. Vegas here in mid, blink, far a strike. Universe catching out too. Doesn't follow with the epicenter, but they get the curse over on the SF. It's isolating at least no one, so he can't get the Requiem off. Now he will, but EG are pretty much backed up. If they want to commit more, that Song of the Siren from Fear can go, and he'll catch out three, but it'll actually be Universe to blink, far a strike, and the Sonic Wave from Samal was perfect, but the stolen curse, it locks him in position. PPD, he was burning to him with Spirit. The Song of the Siren gives him the space so he can just barely DP out alive. And again, Universe, another bar strike giving Samael a triple kill they go for the ensnare but a good slot of fist dodge member spirit will give him the space Pasha to back himself up but EG well they needed something and they definitely got it but now also having a bit taken away from them with mag on this top lane they're having they're doing Here's a really good BT. job of isolating this Here's that BT move man they're looking for the SK the spirit forward the steering chains and they're gonna make universe pay for what he did in the middle lane ember spirit will take the kill and Vega will add a lot of pressure, which probably will result in the death of this tier one, tier one tower. Yeah, that's a really good fight for EG. You will take out your tier one towers. You, you wait for a BKB on Shadow Fiend, and then you take that fight. You can bait him out if you have to. They don't have a good way to stop the BKB after the song. This is a good way to get the BKB, but of course, no one. Universe read the fact that you would want it, and now in comes your Eclipse, but how much damage will be done? It's probably more than enough to kill off that SF, but it is a death ulti, however, helps kill off Fear, and they actually try and turn it around. It was stolen, but Solo is so deep under the tower to try and find these kills. It still ends up being a three on two. Samal looking for more blinks over, misses the screen, but still gets himself a double kill. The blink on cooldown for three more seconds. The Searing Chains will hold him there. Now blink is back off, but he needs more time. He just does not have it. Pasha comes in, finds another one, and this time it's Vega who gets the better trade in the team fight. Man, Sima has been really walking around with an Invis room. This is what broke it, and there's your curse. Everything is coming in as well. He's focusing down the Rubik who stole curse, but couldn't get it off. The SF might get the requiem of Souls. In fact, Solo and Mag in a great position, coming in from behind. PB just wants to TP out, successful at doing so, but Samael again searing chain and again killed off. Vega. Somehow they managed to take control of that high ground. Oh, that was Mag coming around from behind. He gets the Orchid out and kills Naga Siren, and then he just kills Luna. She thought the Eclipse was going to do a lot of damage, but she didn't count for like 15 spider rings being there. Flying under the radar, Blink Barra solo. Might be a little bit of trouble. PPD is going to go for the... Okay, I thought for a moment he might be thinking about the curse. For now, Luna being picked up and thrown away. They just end up going in for the Song of the Siren. This will isolate the Rubik. And she that should be the blink. easier kill while the Barra Strike catches out Solo, but yep, there's your blink down. The Instant will actually stop Rubik from TPing out at the moment. They split into multiple fights, and it's going to be Universe up next to Secret Shop. No one actually trying to go for these raiders, just lets the Requiem go. That'll ensure the kill on the, S on the SK, as well as get that gem back, but Artidi's back into the fight. Here with Samel, they've gone three for one off as a trade-off, and no one with a BKB got the last raise off. Samel comes in for the Sonic Wave. The Courier might have actually been popped at the same time. Another gem being dropped, which PPD will be able to regather, but it's the the Ember Spirit and the SF going to work. Samael, BKBs to blink TP out. Fear may not be so lucky. He's going to ensnare onto the Ember Spirit, but the Slide of Steering Chain still goes to work, and Fear will end up losing his life. PPD, however, recovers both gems from that fight, both Vegas and EGs. The Radiant had their chicken around the secret shop. I'm very surprised that they didn't pick it up, considering that the supports died right around. Uh, and maybe bait out a Winner's Curse so that Shadow Fiend can actually do some damage. We do see the MKB come out on the Shadow wow, Fiend. Mag. Oh. Okay, he's going after PPD. Fear is here with the Ensnare, and that's keeping Broodmother at bay. Now the BKB charge, but now in comes the Eclipse from Luna, and they've got an isolated Rubik. They follow up with the Epicenter as well, which just chips Solo on the edge. The male's going to let the Sonic Wave go to ensure the kill. The Curse might be on the back lines. It's actually holding out SF, as well as the Brood. Two heroes perfectly together. Varus Strike is up, but there is 
no Eclipse. They want to fight this. Samalis are taking care of Parsha in the meantime, but they get the double fire strike. The Jeans will be burned. They still have to fight through that egg of the Immortal. So we actually have Universe out in time. He'll survive as the SK. They burn the egg of the Immortal. It stands on Brewmother and Samalis back in this fight. He's almost got the Song of the Siren back up. Not Song of the Siren. The Sonic Wave back off cooldown. Now the fire strike. Universe comes in again. He's got to get out before these Razors start kicking in. But he just stands his ground inside the Sandstorm. And they bring him down. It's an ultra kill for Samael. And Vega get completely wiped by evil geniuses. Wow, what a great sleep to set up for those two important kills on the cores. On top of that, while that sleep was going on, Sumail was in the backside chasing down the Ember Spirit. And he like almost killed two heroes, I think, with the first slide of fist. But he, he wasn't able to get another one off. Was that frontline tank and Universe instantly initiates the seal going him by the curse. It locks down the SF. They need more damage. They need to finish the job. And it's not possible. Or is it? Luna just keeps working his way out with that BKB. Now the Song of the Siren actually slowing everything down. And the Spirit Cement is isolated with his own BKB. It stops Mag from fighting anymore, but he's doing his own BKB up. Pasha jumping forward. You start with the Eclipse smiling to still in here, causing a large amount of troubles. And Luna can't attack the Satanic Pods, but it's not in time. This is big. This is huge for Vega. They've got themselves a huge bit of kills. It'll be EG dropping like flies, only Universe to survive, no buybacks available, this is mid rack to potentially just a straight GG push, and Vega taking game one. Oh, Shadow Fiend is just way too big at this point, like every time they throw like everything at it, they still can't kill. Look at him go, there it is, the GG push, EG gonna have to admit defeat. Like you can buy back on the Naga, but you got no Epi, you got no Song, and you've got no Luna, and in fact you've just lost your SK, this game is done. Yeah, it, it really is. I, I thought that EG kind of had it at one point in the game, but two unlucky Roche spawns, like really good defensive, I think, the skills on the Shadow Fiend, like they kept him alive throughout all these bursts, like incredibly well played by Vega. Yeah, they... But it's so, they played so smart, like it, it looked like EG were getting themselves back with good initiations and really good team fights. Uh, the Luna was getting back to a point too where you thought you had enough damage, but as you said, the SF was so big when Arteezy as well as SF... Down there, but it might be a little bit too late. They're gonna need that Fissure to really Maybe stop him though, because PPD could just charge himself out and actually... Oh! He gets instantly life strike to Ray on the charge, then Fissure just for good measure. And Vega get first blood. I mean, Simo was in a perfect position to fissure him off, but I don't think that they would have gotten a kill. And here we go. Smoke. Yeah, Vega actually going to initiate into EG. They, they want to stop this jungling. But the Blink Dagger is there for Universe. Yeah, but so if the timing is right, like Naga Siren, you get fissured, the cooldown's going to come. There's no point in Song of the Siren. That Rocket Barrage connects everything on them. But Samel moves over. They find Solo. The Blink, the Lasso, charge on the way. Samel's going to get the double core, lock, locking in Pasha. They get the Culling Blade and moving back for the Sonic Wave. Just too strong. PBD again has to pull himself out of this charge. But you've still got Universe behind this one up. He's got a lot of sticky nade bumps. Now in comes your Snowball. It's going to be Fear in here. Trying to beat in two. Seema may actually go for double heroes. Seema's going to get bashed back by PPD. So he's going to find himself a kill here. And it will be a bit of a trade-off as PPD TPs out. It will be in time. But you've got Fear just trapped in the middle of nowhere. No TP. He's got Snowball. He's actually going after the Queen of Pain. With the shards, there's no blink for one second. The charge is on his way. But how far away is he? He's coming from base. And Fear, he's locked inside the river. They can't get the perfects around, but the Rocket Barrage will still do, the, still do the damage. And do they pull out of the charge? He's going to have to anyway. That Queen of Pain's a long way away. Yeah, she is deceptively. His positioning is perfect. He's going to break the smoke and instantly get the information. Samel, oh, they go for the Battle Hunger, and there's that Blink, and then drag it back with the last two, but a four-man fissure from Seema. By space to Pasha. They all snowball in. They really wanted that Gyro dead. And then the charge over the Echo Slam, canceling the charge from the Spirit Breaker. The Nerf Shaker fighting inside the fire until no one arrives! A huge Sonic Wave getting himself a double kill. The last Strike Array, there's going to be more than that. The Spirit Break is popping. A triple kill for no one. He had an amazing game one, and he may have just put a nail in the coffin of EG here in game two. Last suit, the charge is coming in over on Pasha, and that is going to be followed up by Samel. A perfect call, and they should be able to cut him blade him down, but in comes no one, the Sonic Wave. They've already lost the axe, and PPD will try and run himself out this one. The Shards making some space, they have another stun, they have to commit that Ghost Slam, and it'll be enough. Queen of Pain again, more kills. 7 0 4 on no one. He's got half of the kills that Vega have managed to claim, and he's looking for more. The Shadow Strike into the Tusker, who jumped into the tree line. He does have Snowball, but he's got no vision, so they Song of the Siren, but the Fisher, Tusker, he can't walk out. Fear is actually, no, is there? Is there a gap? No, there's not. He snowballs. No one knows this. He blinks himself up to force 
Fear to come closer towards Vega. You might punch him, but she'll punch her straight back. That is now 15 to 6, and no one, 804, 124 CS. It's the dream. Well, they took out the bottom tower and finishes Radiance. Terrain actually serves much of the same purpose because it gives you a huge HP. Oh, here they come. Oh. Can they find the opening? There's the blink call out from the Queen of Pain. PVD pushing back Pasha, and then the BKB will be triggered. There's no call down right now, but there's also no Axe. There's no Spirit Breaker. There's no Tusker. They just die so easily as they just run into Vega's lineup. There's just no damage from EG once they initiate. Queen is so overleveled at this point. Like, having that level 3 ult with Scepter at this point, it just took off like half of Axe's HP as well as... And it's back, half it's back off cooldowns, 8 seconds time. Like, they can just do it all over again. They did that fight without cooldown. Yeah, EG knew they were getting like super out far, so they kind of had to make a move, but I mean, who could really jump at this point? Pasha went full defensive build. We have no one with 18, 2100 HP. And then if you don't kill him, he's just going to life set everything back up with a Sonic Wave immediately after and a scream. Well, I don't want to call it, but it actually feels like this game is over. You're going to get everyone back up now. EG have one last roll of the dice. You can Naga Song, like Naga Siren Split Push to your heart's content. You just finished the Blink Dagger on the Earthshaker as well. It's going to fly all the way out from base. But Vega, they just took out your top racks after what was a very unstressful fight for Vega on top lane. I think this this series might set a precedent for first phase Brood Band versus Vega. Yeah. Gem to yeah. catch out the Brood, but it doesn't really matter. By the time like the Batrider gets a Blink Dagger, the Brood has already done the damage. Here they go. They're going after Mag. No one's still there. And let's the Sonic away from him! Oh my! Fear dies almost instantly. Batrider, look at PPD. He's still on full life and just TP straight out again. They've lost Universe as well. Another failed gank and another open ticket for Vega just to push the mid lane. Vega pick up the gem. So goodbye Vision. Uh, Shaker is what, because he came in with a dunk too. Like, but a, a simple blink forward to a finish stun will be enough of initiation for no one to finish this. His Sonic Waves off cooldown again with a double damage. And there it is, GG, under 30 minutes. 22 is the unlucky number here for EG, or 22-0. Over a year ago and now as 22-8, Vega will eliminate EG. And for the first time, they don't find themselves in the ESL 1 final. Yeah, not respecting the Brood after team number one is a questionable decision. And uh, they drafted, theoretically, some Brood counters, but just... It's, it's like they drafted all the Brood counters that were all off laners. And there was no one else to fill the other roles at the same time. Like, the matchups just, just felt very weak at the end of the day. Yeah, and... I think moving Sumail off the uh, or to a hero like Axe is not a great recipe for them, but a very impressive victory by Vega. I, I think they they have stuck together as a team, which I think is already worth complimenting after not failing, yeah, not qualifying for TI. But the level of play that they've come to, I think they show that they're a tier one European team where there are not many anymore. Yeah, and they got they're, they're such an underpraised team as well. Like Vega was always that team that you'll see floating around the bottom of the tier one kind of ranking system. Maybe they qualify for some finals, but it'll be like.